Good morning world. It's another chilly morning. We're still refusing to turn on our heat. So in the house right now, it's just 60, deadpan 60, which I just feel it's chilly, okay? It just is. Um, we need to go grocery shopping. There's not a lot in here and we ran out of milk again and I'm just being fussy. So I'm having leftover pizza for breakfast. That's fine, right? Right? It's fine. Not as good as I hoped it would be. Just coming upstairs now, creeping on Alex. Oh, he is washing his car. Beautiful, beautiful day out. It's cold this morning, but I need to get myself collected now and together a little bit more human feeling, I think. Okay, I feel a lot more human now. I'm gonna go and check in on Alex. He's still outside, he's been cleaning his car. He like really gets into cleaning and detailing his car. Um, he's going ham on it. I think like full inside and out. He's just getting in. Let's see if we can find him. Watch out though. You've been out here for like hours. Yeah, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. Okay, so are you doing like in and out? Oh yeah. You're getting crazy. Well, he's having a good time fighting with windows apparently. And yeah, just he really likes cleaning his car. He's kind of getting near done. Because I want to go grocery shop and maybe pick apples, so yeah, just kind of checking his progress, seeing where he is. Now I'm looking at this tree that's changing colors. It's just like yellow and green all at the same time. It's just really, really pretty. Fall. Who would have thunk it? Beautiful thing. Um, but yes, I think I'm going to go back inside now while he does this because I'm just kind of standing here while he's on the phone or while he's concentrating on something, so I'm gonna let him be and stop bothering him. It is a touch later now. I have gathered up some things. I've got some errands to run, a little bit of mail to drop off, a little bit of a bank run I have to do. And I have a small snack. So well, I'm gonna go and run some errands and I'm gonna start off with some apple picking. Ooh, it smells like cider donuts. We're gonna have to get some of those. Got some fresh ones. That was really cool. I don't think I've ever seen the whole like actual, I don't know what to do with these. Okay, put those down. I don't think I've ever seen the actual like making process machine going. So that was pretty cool. I'm gonna sneak a donut with me. And then I just talked to the man inside and he said that picking is actually really, really slim. They had a lot of people picking this weekend. And so I may not be able to find a lot, which is fine. They still have a ton of apples inside, but, um, We'll see if we can adventure out and see if we can't find anything. So, so good, especially fresh. Probably gonna get it all over my lipstick and then look like a hot mess, but that's okay. I don't really mind. It's just, if you've never had a cider donut, not from the New England area, I feel bad for you because they are delicious. They have this little creepy owl dude on the end of the stick here. I think he's to like ward away pests and rodents and varmints and whatnot. He's not real, but he sure is real creepy. So the guy I talked to said to go out behind the house that the property's on because no one really goes out there, which I'm now agreeing that it does it feels a little weird to be wandering in essentially somebody's backyard and just like 
acting like you know what you're doing, because I don't really. There are a ton of gala apples, which I'm not like 100% a super fan of, which is probably why there's a ton of them, but they are really pretty. They're really sweet, but like this tree has them just absolutely everywhere on it. But it's not really what I'm looking for. I might grab a couple, but I don't know. Uh, can we talk about the size of this apple? Like, look, this is huge. I was just walking along, and there are some apples in the trees out here, and even like where I'm walking isn't super beaten down like everywhere else. I just found this monster of an apple. These trees back here, I don't know what kind these are. They maybe are Cortlands? I'm not an apple connoisseur, I have no idea. But like, this tree is littered with apples. They're stinking everywhere. So, definitely going behind the house has its benefits. As awkward as I feel, it has its benefits. This is what I mean by two very different sized apples that I have found. First was the huge one. They're just completely different sizes, like big apple, baby apple. Just, I don't know. I love it. I think it's adorable. The little one is so cute, and the big one is so like, it's like a meal apple and a snack apple, the two of them. All right, now that was pretty easy. I got my whole bag, picked up piece of trash because I figured why I leave that in the orchard if I'm gonna walk by it I might as well pick it up and bring it back with me. Ooh, but this whole walk has a slight little uphill to it so I'm a tidge bit out of breath. Surprisingly just you'd like walking there I didn't even realize that I was going downhill and now I definitely know that I'm going uphill but I'm happy that was easy to find. The guy inside said today might be the last day of picking I don't know, I think I'd still come back tomorrow if given the chance or need for that many apples. Lucky for Alex, I forgot to grab my reusable grocery bags, which I'm trying to be so much better about using. So I swung back by the house and then I'm gonna loop and go get groceries and whatnot. I could have gone the other way, but I looped back this way, dropped off the fresh donuts for him and the apples and whatnot. He was on a call, but now he has those. He can eat the donuts while they're still warm and amazing. So I just did that, grabbed the bags, and I grabbed literally a little apple about the size of my eye for myself. I'm gonna eat this cute, tiny little one on my way there. Check out the size of this guy. That thing is crazy. Oh, it is 102 pounds. That's a little on the heavy side. It's a little crazy. All done with shopping. Quick, easy, and painless. I bought some almonds and I am snacking on some of them now. Just grabbed a few things. Milk. I grabbed milk. I just, oh, I don't know. I'm definitely a milk lover and when I'm without it, all of a sudden it's like the only thing I want. So I finished the last of it last night, so I had to get some today. But I've got to head back, eat something really quickly, and then head out to the game. So we have a game today, but it's not until 6. But instead of taking the bus, I'm driving myself. Because the bus left at like 2.45. Because JV is playing before varsity. And I just didn't want to. I just, I just didn't want to. And it's closer to my house for me to drive, than to drive to the school, and then take the bus. So just logically, it made more sense to drive myself. So I've got to head back now so I can eat something and get ready and go. Okay, I haven't even put the groceries away. They're still on the floor right there and we have to take the trash out. I made a little, uh, what do you call them? SpaghettiOs, Bunnios, to go in a cup. And that is what I'm gonna bring with me to drive to the game. Oh, that sucks. So the JV is playing right now before us, and they got a PK, but she ended up missing, which, blah, whatever. But we've got to warm up now, so I'm headed over to the girls right now. Oh. 
TV for like a local station and all the girls just went behind her. It was a great overtime win that we just had. Amazing. And apparently there's a TV station here. We won! Woo! Girl, I watch your vlogs all the time! I'm a big fan! Never watch She's a weird dude. And now Brooke and Avery And they hate it. I told them just pretend it's this camera and it'll be like it's the same thing. Aw, look, they're twinning. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Totes adorbs. Oh. In case I look ugly, you can post it. Yeah, and now they're hood. All right, I'm walking away. <laughs> okay, I am home now. It was so cold towards the end of the game that I went upstairs, put on snuggly clothes, and then came down, and I'm now wrapped up in a blanket on the couch. And I didn't really eat a whole lot for dinner. I had some grapes and some Triscuits. Not really much. I had some SpaghettiOs on the car ride in, so that worked out alright, but yeah. Now we're watching The Voice, just chilling, hanging, until we go to bed. It's like 10 o'clock right now, so I think there's like one performance left, and then we'll be done, and then we'll go to bed. But yes, it was a good game, other than the fact that we couldn't finish, which was really frustrating, but we did finally score in overtime, so that was great. Um, yeah, tomorrow is massage day. I have scheduled a massage for myself, so I'm super excited about that. So it's, it's the one, that I'm looking forward to it a lot. But yeah, after this we're going to go to bed, and then I will see you guys tomorrow.